I really want to put some cheese on this. So like, I'm, I'm just gonna put some more cheese on it because is this the cooking show or is this the cooking show? Welcome back to my kitchen. We're here, um, I'm Faraday, and we're gonna make meatball subs. Just as a special treat because I live alone and um, miss everybody and miss all my friends. And we've got the whole gang here on virtually Google Hangout. So we've got Aaron and Ian and Rachel. What have you guys been cooking? It's been a lot of hummus and crackers at my house. I'm gonna be real honest. Take out food, I had Indian food, I've had pizza. I think that if I wasn't cooking and testing recipes all the time, I would probably be eating cheese and crackers mainly. This recipe got workshopped a lot. I didn't want it to be a traditional Italian, like red sauce, mozzarella, like sub kind of thing. I was like, what if I made it like really green and herby? Because how many recipes have I done with red sauce? The stromboli, mozzarella sticks. I'm trying to diversify my my repertoire of bullshit. We're going green, you know? So what I'm doing right now, is I'm chopping up a bunch of pistachios. Pistachio, lemon zest, lemon juice, parsley, and basil. Anyways, we're just gonna chop up all these herbs. Mayhem Loren is chastising me right now and angry right now watching me take a knife to basil. Don't ever put a knife to basil, that's disrespectful. But guess what? I wanna finally chop it, it's gonna be really good. You can smell all of these herbs, I love it. It's just, it's really good. I'm gonna do a quarter cup of parsley, a quarter cup of basil into the dressing. So you got your dressing here. Half into there, meatballs. And by the way, I just covered it up and Ian's probably mad at me, but in here is a combination of pork, ground pork and ground beef. So to finish up our dressing, it's just gonna be a quarter cup of olive oil, right on in, and then I will zest the lemon. So the best meatball I ever had was at Emilio's Bellotto. My aunt, I took her there when she came to visit. She was like, I'm gonna order, can I just have like a side of meatballs? And in my head I'm thinking, what the fuck? Like, no, don't do that woman. You know, I tried to bite. And it was honestly the best meatball I've ever had. And I think, and we sat there and dissected this, and I'm pretty sure they put Italian sausage in it. So it was beef, ground beef, ground pork, and Italian sausage. And I actually regret not putting Italian sausage into this recipe, but, so this is essentially ready. I don't know, I'm gonna show you guys too. Ooh. Oh my God. Yum, that looks like it smells amazing. Yeah, I'm gonna add a little bit, a teensy bit more oil to it. Maybe another couple glugs of the old E-V-O-O, -O, as my best pal Rachel Ray says. Time out. Bring it home for the team to everybody. Sicily, yeah, Sicily, Sicily. We're making our meatballs now. We're gonna grate an onion. I don't like chunks of onion in it, so I'm gonna grate it and squeeze out the liquid, and that's gonna add that nice onion flavor without the big chunks of onion, because I think that that's kind of a turn off for me personally. This is a small onion. Look at that. Look at all the liquid, just squeezing it right out. Okay, add it on in. Oh, oh gosh. Guys, the onion's getting me. Whew. Where's my face mask? Um, uh, okay, hold on. Uh, use a half an onion, use a whole onion. I might go back and add the rest of the onion in. The thing about this, you can like adapt it a little bit, okay? It's fine. So I'm gonna grate some garlic into here. My pals over at La Industry, Massimo and Nick, every Wednesday they do meatball sandwiches, meatball heroes, and they are amazing. And he was using pizza crust as the bread in there. I'm basically recreating that, but not as good, because I don't have pizza crust. But, so they use pizza crust in theirs. I'm just going to, um, I'm using breadcrumbs. Anyways, I'm gonna soak my breadcrumbs. I forget what this is called. There's a word for it. Soaking your bread in milk first. Um, and also stupidity is what it's called when you put everything into small bowls like this. We do that because it hydrates the breadcrumbs so they're, they just end up being more moist and everything. I'm gonna also add into it um, some ricotta cheese. So there's like, I don't know, six tablespoons of ricotta cheese in there. Don't forget the Parmesan cheese. It wouldn't be a Faraday recipe if there wasn't more than three kinds of cheese. And don't think there is no third kind of cheese. We've got Parmesan, ricotta, and mozzarella. Thank you very much, okay? So that goes right on in there. I couldn't remember if I put an egg in it, but why wouldn't I put an egg in it? Boom, right on in. Two teaspoons of salt. We're gonna do about 30 cranks of black pepper. Look at this. Doesn't that look beautiful? Oh my gosh. Oh yes, that is sexy. All right, and then you're just gonna mix it all together. You can make them as big or as small as you want. Um, if you wanna make one giant meatball, I dare you. Please actually make one giant meatball. Somebody out there make one giant meatball. You don't wanna overwork it. So we're just gonna 
Mix it all up. I am gonna broil these bad boys. Because there's a lot of cheese in there, there's a lot of moisture, um, I don't want them to fall apart, so I'm gonna broil them. But I'm gonna put some olive oil, coat this little sheet right here and some olive oil. We're gonna roll our bowls now. This recipe, I usually make 12 meatballs out of it, but I made them a little bit bigger. You can, like I said, you can make the balls however size you want. I think the recipe I call for it makes a dozen meatballs, but I made nine just because, hey, I'm one person, okay? And I wanna eat nine meatballs, so I'm gonna eat nine meatballs. Okay, into the oven we go. Wait, you know what could be good, by the way? Fuck it, we're gonna change our idea right now. So what I usually do, I slice it in half this way, and I open it up, and I fill it with cheese, and I broil it, and then I add the meatballs. But I think what I'm gonna do is slice it this way, down the middle, the top, and then add the cheese and broil it, and it's gonna be really good that way. What kind of things are you guys doing in quarantine right now? Uh, a lot of Pilates. I got a cat. Oh, what? His oh. name's here. look at him. I got a trampoline, I've been doing embroidery, macrame, paint by number, colored pencils, origami, and I got a hammock too. The meatballs are done. The timer's going off in one second. Four seconds, three seconds, two seconds. All right, let's see. Those meatballs look good. I'm gonna let them sit here and rest. Again, like 10 to 12 minutes. My meatballs are a little bigger. I did them for 12 minutes. They're not all the way cooked through, but they're gonna carry over and rest and they're gonna be absolutely delicious. Super moist, amazing. And while we let the meatballs rest, I'm gonna put my bread into the oven. If you're doing this at home, what I recommend instead of using grated cheese is probably use sliced cheese, um, like slices of mozzarella, but it was a last minute decision for me, so I used grated cheese. Guess what guys, doesn't matter, you're in quarantine, you do the best you can, okay? This is gonna go in the oven, it's gonna take like two minutes and we're gonna be eating meatball sandwiches soon. The bread is out of the oven. Like this is like a bed of cheese in here. It's a little insane, but I think it's gonna be worth it. Now I'm gonna, I could probably hit five meatballs onto here. One meatball. Oh my God, this is actually insane. Two meatballs. Let me see if I can get five. I like an odd number. This is ridiculous. We're gonna put this beautiful dressing on it. So who needs red sauce? Who needs marinara? Oh my gosh. I'm just gonna put a little bit more on the top. Throw it in the oven. You know what I could do also? Oh, this, is just, this is obscene. Put in the oven another like 30 seconds. Just to melt that on top, it's gonna be great. Look at this. I just melted it. You could take, I mean, you just melted more cheese on top because the cooking show. It's the moment of truth. The moment we've all been waiting for. However, will she fit this whole thing in her mouth? Oh man, this is just ridiculous. There's like cheese melting at the bottom. Oh. Mmm. The meatballs themselves are so soft and juicy and just like cheesy, but like not like overwhelming cheesy that you get the flavors of, of the herbs in there. This meatball recipe is your new go-to meatball recipe. I guarantee it. Throw in some Italian sausage if you got it. If not, the ground pork, the ground beef. It's just amazing. I hope you like it. Enjoy. Hashtag cook munchies. Thank you. Stay home, stay safe. We're gonna need another bite of this. Goodbye.